Hello, I'm Sephrajin and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how easy uh, it is to use the deconstruction kit or the recycle the script was the word. Anyway, uh, for that we obviously do need uh, a target, which we get in a minute. Uh, until then, um, let's talk about some basics. Uh, first and foremost, as always, you do need two LCDs, one of which is the script LCD and the other one is the um, output LCD, both of which have to be uh, within a group, so you can actually name them. Once you've done so, just uh, call the script LCD script with a capital S and let's say decon for you know the deconstruction script or call it recycle for the recycle script obviously. The output LCDs have to be named equally aside of the script um, double point so they're just named decon and recycle. Usually you do want to loot into um, yeah, well, some kind of loot box. They do have to be named uh, within the script. So in the case of this ship I'm ca called them um, loot mbk mbk1 and loot mbk2 um, which is the name of the ship. So um, supposed to be like you know the old movie natural born killers um yeah that's about that um this is very important that you call the box kind of uh, unique so that um the script can really identify the box because it may happen that they do kind of you know place the, the items in another box named loot for example because uh, within the script because I'm for one using the um, color so that means I have kind of prefix that I have to use with a white color um, same as afterwards because you will want to use a wildcard for um, the box naming you know uh, as I've shown here um, NBK1 and NBK2 uh, yeah just because the box may get full either by slots if you don't play with mass volume or if you do play with mass volume obviously it might be full because of volume so the script will automatically detect that and fill the next script, uh, fill the next box uh, once the first one is full. So and for some reason I have a wrong angle and didn't realize. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, so now we're free. So all we need to do is, well, let's do this for um, simplicity. Obviously, um, I would need to loot all the, the cargo boxes. Yeah, great. Not the, not the drones. Um, so let's talk about the, the actual script. So the actual script can be, as said, anywhere within the um, ship so which would be here oh I've actually placed it reachable great so this is the actual script and you would change here the box name and that's about all you need to change obviously the, the script itself can be uh, found in the link to my github in the description of the video so this is what i was talking the wildcard for the color scheme 
and this would be whatever custom and unique name you want to give it so you know if you're going somewhere with your mate um, if you running the script that the loot actually lands in your box and not in his because if, if you just use loot well Y card loot wild card um, it may be placed anywhere that is even on other structures that's the point so um, but you do want to use Y card afterwards because you know the numbering of the boxes so that's kind of the tricky part anyway so now that we've done the base we go here and using this one oh right one like this oh there's more drones well let me just check the shields Shields fine, good. So we're placing. Oh, let's pick this one up. So we're placing the core. Oh. Uh, do some looting. Uh, give me that. Sorry for that, but um. Just those. Right, so we do have some loot. And now we want to use the stream from here. I've actually used the recycle script because um yeah, I do have enough mats resources on my ship, uh, on, on the base, or on the ship as well, I guess. Anyway, so I've just selected and copied the string. And because drones are active, yeah, it's all good. We are going again here, using all the group. And just name the core as to the string we are or have copied. And it will now just disassemble all of the poi. Uh, here. Let me get some more loot because the data pads are kind of important. I'm just here in, in GM mode because of, you know, for the video. And yeah, as you see, the base starts to disappear, which is uh, what we want. So that's all the recycle, and it will all land first in the MBK1. Oh, gee, I do need to, that's a nullifier. Holy, oh, nullifier down. Okay, wow, 0 0.1. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, that was, wow, that was lucky. That was so <laughs> lucky. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, basically that's about it. So, <clears throat> All of the capacitor matrix is being put into the box, which would be MDK2. So this, these are the resource we've gathered with recycle. Now let's let's do the nullifier. I mean that one's done by uh, accident now. So what we do want is go here because they're basically basically the same scripts. So all we need to change. Uh, I mean, you can place both deconstruct uh, in, the, in the command and obviously to close it, deconstruct. Uh, that's all about it. Uh, yeah. 
So just saying a little bit what's done within the script. So it's scrolling for all um, entries that exceed 13 lines of code every one second. It's always doing one line. So that's kind of hard coded, but you can say how fast it should scroll. So how often, every one, every two, three seconds. Uh, but one second is plenty of enough because once you open the LCD, you do have fixed code. So it then checks all of the entities name that belong to you, uh, which is either the, well, that belong to the same faction as the structure the script is on. So if you're on a ship um, that's private, the, it only scans for private cores. And if the ship uh, belongs to a faction, it would only scan for um, cores that belong to the same faction, obviously. So after that, it shows the, the actual name of the ent entity and then starts the deconstruct on the current entry and passes the content, well, the results into this box. So again, let's show here. Uh, we have just basic resources, you know, everything is split up. So what we're gonna do is going here. Placing the core, retrieve the stuff. Um, it's ah, uh, it's a har ah, uh, it's just a harvester. Gee, or isn't it? No, this is a drone. Damn. I wanted to do the nullifier. That's. Um, Where's the nullifier to? Ah, here. Okay, let's do the nullifier. So let's get the stuff. Well, yeah, I didn't want to place another core anyway. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Um. Oh, it's too far apart. Right. Anyway, so um, what we do want is to auto sort this again. And also, we, we don't actually have to copy the string. So, uh, what you can do is go in here and it's 2560157. So core deconstruct 2561057. I think. 25601. Uh, okay, almost. 01. That should get it started, I guess. Um, let's have a look. Probably just want to show off. Destruct, not deconstruct. Okay, so the, the command, well, the name is destruct. Okay. <clears throat> so choose destruct. And this will take the whole blocks without recycle so it, it's always kind of a what do you need per situation because with recycle you do get quite a huge loss on materials and resources uh, compared to deconstruct which uh, will well bring the whole blocks which obviously is much more preferable Especially if, if you do want to retrieve, you know, stuff like um, CPU extenders, which will contain the uh, optronic matrices and bridges, which do contain quite a bit of code. So um, there's that. Uh, we do have 
full blocks now. So you see, first we've gotten the, the resources with recycle, and now we've gotten the whole blocks, which we can use to um, decrease the uh, amount of time our um, fabric uses. You know, the DF2 blueprint factory, that, that's the word. Yeah, um, that's about it. So, hmm, let me recheck. So, we've had the, the range, we have the name, we have the locations of the script, which is quite easy. And, yeah, that's about all to it. So, I hope you liked, um, hope it helped, and leave a like if it did. Would appreciate it. Um, have fun. See you around. Bye.